What you're seeing here is a Model T Ford ignition coil tester. I'm not sure of the date, but it's somewhere between 1909 and 1927. The tester uses a Model T Ford flywheel with magnets and the magneto coils turned by a hand crank that you can see on the front that generates a voltage to test the Model T spark coils. Here is a Model T Ford spark coil. There are four of these for a Model T. This is one, and the way it's tested is you drop the coil into this slot where it makes contact, and then you turn the crank to generate the electricity to test the magneto. You see the meters indicate the amount of current and the amount of voltage required to make the coil go. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to see the sparks inside this rim here. Those are the ignition sparks. The magneto's got 16 poles, and so the coil should spark every time a pole passes, which is spark 16 times in one turn of the, of the crank. It's sort of an energy intensive way to test Model T Ford spark coils. You can also test a spark plug in this device. Test the spark plugs. It's not a very good test because it doesn't test the plug under compression. But the coil tester is built by an outfit called Allen Company, Allen Electric in Detroit. I don't know if they're still in business or not. I can't find them on the internet. But coil tester shows the Model T flywheel. These are the horseshoe magnets in the flywheel. And this is the magneto coil sections, a bunch of flat wound coils. As you turn the flywheel, it generates an electricity which runs the coil. You use this to adjust the point adjustment on the coil for minimum voltage at firing and minimum current. You can find out more about this by going to my web page, which is listed on the screen at the beginning of this video. So if you didn't catch it that time, you got to watch this again to get my, my website. Thanks for watching.